Let me tell you guys about one of the horrible experiences that I had when I was a temp dental hygienist. So I didn't work full time. Well, I did work full time. But what I did was I didn't work for one office only. I had worked for offices who needed a temp dental hygienist for the day, for the week, for a couple weeks, if their main dental hygienist was off sick or went on vacation or something like that. Temp dental hygienists typically, typically get paid more because we don't have a set you know, scheduled hours. We're not in one office where we get benefits sometimes, all kinds of things. But I liked being a temp because that meant that I, I could pick and choose my own hours. If I wanted Saturday and Sunday off, I just wouldn't work on Saturday or Sunday. If I didn't want to work, let's say next week, then I would take the week off, that kind of thing. You don't really have that flexibility when you work in one office because you've been there for a while. You can't just pick and choose your days, your, your days off, right? You just can't. But let me tell you guys about one experience that I did have. So this can hopefully help you if you're looking to be a temp dental hygienist or if you are one now and you're having some difficulties navigating it. So let me tell you guys one of my bad experiences and how I handled it. So one of my bad experiences was I'll first tell you about the office a little bit and why I didn't like the office, why I left, and then I didn't get paid for a month, how I eventually collected my paycheck and what I had to do in, in order to get it. So this office was just crazy. It wasn't bad. I could tell they were a busy office. Nope, no problem. I don't mind working hard. But what ended up happening, I was probably temping there for not a week or two consecutively, but I they had probably asked me to come back about like 14 days um, overall, you know. So the first time was fine. The second time was fine. They were busy, but no big deal. But then what I eventually saw was conveniently, I would be the only hygienist there that day. There would have been two because conveniently the other hygienist would always call in sick, but I would end up taking her patients as well. So I was double booked. I was supposed to have an assistant helping me clean up the room, set up the room, take the x-rays, but that was never the case. So I'd be cleaning up the room, setting up the room, taking the x-rays, um, the dentist would be doing the check themselves because I eventually said, like, I can't stay here and wait for you. These patients are so behind. I had two rooms to work out of, but for whatever reason, the patients were okay with that. So I think that's why they kept double booking me, but they wanted x-rays on every single person. I could go on and on. But basically, I had enough. I had enough when I had a crazy busy day. I was double booked all day. I didn't get a lunch. I didn't even get a thank you. So that's why I was upset. At the end of the day, I was exhausted. I remember it being like seven o'clock, not five o'clock when my shift was done, but seven o'clock because I had to stay because I was behind, double booked, as I said. Seven o'clock, the office manager conveniently was the dentist's wife. And I was like setting, or I'm um, sorry, um, cleaning up, setting up for the, uh, the next day because I did work the next day. Again, can I tell you how exhausted I was? I was doing all of that. I didn't think anybody else was still in the office. I thought it was just me and the receptionist. So I was cleaning up. Um, I went to go put in my hours for that night. Um, it, it was, I don't remember the exact time, but 7.15, 7.30, something like that. I was, you know, putting in my hours as I was leaving the office manager, which, which is the dentist's wife came running at me with the binder. You put in 730, but it's actually 725, you know, just as an, as an example. And I kind of said like, well, do you want me to put in 715? That doesn't seem fair. So yes, I put in 730. I've been working all day. I didn't get a lunch. I was just so shocked that that's how she was asking, or I'm sorry, how she was acting. And then she says to me, we pay you more than any other dental hygienist here. You need to put in your exact amount. So if it's 725, you put in 725. And I was just so shocked. Um, I was so overworked that day. I didn't get a thank you. I ended up saying to her, you know, I was double booked all day. I didn't get any help. I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. I didn't get a lunch. I could barely use the bathroom. I didn't think you'd be concerned about five minutes. If I had known, I probably would put down 725. Well, from now on, it has to be exact. So I said, I was just so surprised. I said, okay, so what did I do, you guys? I called in sick for the next day and I never went back because I'm like, you know what? That was just ridiculous. But 
they had owed me money. They didn't pay me for at least a month. It might have been longer back and forth. I forget the excuses that they had given me back and forth. They would not pay me. Oh, we're just waiting for this, waiting for that. Um, they tried to tell me, well, you didn't actually work the days you said you did. Well, yeah, I did. Like, check the cameras if you want. Check the timesheet, whatever, right? So they wouldn't pay me. So what I eventually did is I said, well, I have called the police because you you are with withholding my money i've called the police there is an officer who is going to come with me tomorrow morning um and we are going to collect my check together it better be ready or i'm assuming there's going to be issues sure enough they had my check ready the next morning i didn't actually call the police i didn't actually have a police officer with me but what i had planned to do was go the next morning and if there were any issues i was going to call the police and say this is what's happening but they didn't end up doing that and they were super nice to me here you go thank you so much i just went in went out got my money, I deposited it right away. And they even had the audacity to ask me to temp for them maybe a year later. I don't remember the exact timeline, but they sent me a message to my cell phone and had asked me to temp again. So you guys, I had a horrible experience. So the purpose of this video is please do not let horrible offices treat you poorly like that. I shouldn't even have let her say that stuff to me, but I got them back. I felt better because I called in sick the next day. And believe me, I was double booked again. So don't let them treat you that way. Temping, I do prefer temping over working for an office full time because it's flexible hours. So I did always prefer that. You do get paid more. You typically get appreciated more too. I just didn't at that office. But please don't let negative experiences, even if you've had a negative experience before, just don't work for that office again and go to another one. Um, there are good offices out there that need temp hygienists and they will appreciate you being there. So, oh my goodness, even just talking about that horrible experience, I kind of feel like my blood pressure is like boiling. And this was probably six years ago, you guys. This was a long time ago. Dental hygiene is no joke. We hold on to things. We think about things. So, but please don't let that happen to you. If they're withholding your money, say a police officer is going to come with you to get your check tomorrow not in a week not in a month maybe they can email transfer you however they had it set up but please seek legal action if you have to because we can't let offices treat us this way okay thank you guys for watching please comment below if, if you've had any similar experiences and good luck with everything don't be afraid to temp because it is amazing and i'll talk to you guys very soon